Sungai Katarungan is located 3 km southeast of the municipality of Ubay and about 129 km from the city of Tagbilaran. In 1985, through the facilitation of PCA, the Katarungan Small Coconut Farmers Organization was created with 16 members with a seed fund of 900 pesos and was then raising capital through a 1 peso monthly contribution from each member. Five years after, in 1990, it has transformed into a cooperative and now called the Katarungan Small Coconut Farmers Multi-Purpose Cooperative and Corp. In the year 2000, the co-op was also registered with the Department of Labor and Employment for DOLE. Currently, it has a total of 128 farmer members with a total asset of 1.65 million pesos. Line of business includes microlending, loans for fertilizers and planting materials such as seeds, and catering services over and above their livestock projects. As the COP envisions for the economic upliftment of its members, they also believe that the success of their organization is anchored on good leadership and management. Officers and members are sent to trainings annually and business records are maintained and updated. KSCFMPCI has also productively partnered with various government and non-government organizations such as DA, PCA, PCC, World Vision, CDA, DOLE, LGU, among others. The remarkable performance of the organization has opened opportunities for its members to become recipients of government-assisted programs and projects. In 2013, the cooperative was selected as one of the partner community-based organization of PCA for its Ka'anib Enterprise Development Project. As a result of the rapid marketing appraisal, the CBO chose to raise cattle and carabao as their livelihood enterprise. In October 2014, a total of 13 heads female cattle and 10 heads female carabao were delivered in the site. After two and a half years, total cattle population reached 31 heads from the 13 original stocks. Of the 18 offsprings, 11 heads were dispersed to new set of beneficiaries, 3 heads ready for turnover to new participants, and 1 newly born calf. A total of seven heads cattle are also pregnant. For Carabao, total heads increase from the original stocks of 10 to 18 heads and two heads are presently pregnant. Of the eight offsprings, five were already handed over to new beneficiaries while the remaining three are due for turning over. Moreover, 8 out of 10 original stocks are now used by the beneficiaries to work in their farms. To ensure the successful implementation of the project, the cooperative has set up a microcredit policy including the establishment of criteria in the selection of farmer participants. In the selection of farmer beneficiaries, the following are the considerations. 1. Must be an active and good standing member of the cooperative. 2. 
availability of forage, three, willing to put up an additional CBU of 2,000 pesos, which is outright for the first level beneficiaries and staggered payment for the redispersal. Four, willing to put up counterpart for the livestock insurance coverage with PCIC. Five, have undergone or attended training on livestock racing conducted by PCA and its counterparts. Six, have attended values forming seminars initiated by the cooperative. Seven, not engage in gambling and other derogative activities. To ensure the sustainability of the project, the policies of the cooperative are 1. Repayment within two years, wherein the farmer participants return the first offspring or 8 to 9 months old for redispersal to other members, or the cash equivalent of the value of the stock plus 5% interest. Of the interest, 25% will go to the CBU or savings of the farmer and 75% to the Co-op Livestock Management Fund. If in case the first offspring is a male, the beneficiary shall immediately inform the Co-op for a possible exchange with a female calf. 2. If after repayment the farmer owed to sell the original stock, he or she has to pay the Co-op the amount of 5,000 pesos of which 50% will go to the CBU or savings of the farmer and 50% to the Co-op Livestock Management Fund. 3. For every sale of an offspring, farmer to set aside at least 5% of its sales to the cooperative, which will be added to his or her CBU or savings. 4. Other conditions include The cooperative has a livestock monitoring officer receiving a monthly honorarium of 250 pesos. Animal reproduction is made possible through natural mating and artificial insemination. Through the cooperative, beneficiaries were able to avail of the ACI services of the local government unit of Abai and Philippine Carabao Center. The outstanding administration of the cooperative in its cattle and carabao racing project under the PCA KEDP is greatly instrumental in the provision of additional heads of carabao in Barangay Katarungan under Let's Help the Whole program as well as dairy buffaloes from the Philippine Carabao Center. The PCA's intervention, coupled with a good management practices employed by the co-op has started to impact on the income of coconut farmer beneficiaries. Ako si Carmelita Builis, member sa Katarungan Small Coconut Farmers Mali Corpus Cooperative. Isa ko ka beneficiary sa kaanib. Ang akong yatiman, baka nakabayad na ko sa kanati. O, ang ikaduhan niyang anak, akong gibaligya na itong May. O, ang halin 12,000. Akong gigamit para sa Mission fees sa akong mga anak o nagpuno kong puong oh, amount para sa akong sibiyo sa among kuop. O sa pagkakaroon, kining amount baka, buntis na duha kasi mana na gitan sa paghabal. Simply illustrating, the cattle and carbal racing project benefit each coconut farmer beneficiaries in this way. Every offspring means additional source of income for the farmers. For those coconut farmers who utilize their carabaos as pork animals, additional income from intercrops and savings from animal rentals 
were also realized. Ako si Samuel Mujuriano. Napuyo sa katarungan ng Bible World. Pusa ako kami mo sa buo. Ako si Euphemia Mujurin. Napuyo sa katarungan ng Bible World. Isip ko sa kaboard member sa katarungan Small Corner Farmers Association. Adawat ako kalabaw na ano. Malipahin po kayo nga tabang na mo sa mong kalisod mo. Pusa ka sa opmos. Makita mo income kami o mga bayan timir. Surod sa usak at tuig. Magtasalamat po po sa kaanib nga sa amo. Dibantayan kayo ta. Nakadaro po ni o ginagmay nga amo katamnan o bulang hoy kamuti o gubanto. Kung nakasib usab kami sa pagdaro sa among basa kay dili naman kami mga bang ukabaw nga sarang kami makadaro sa among basa. Ang among masibing sa among pag-abang sa kabaw makasib kami o mga 15,000 per year. Income of Mr. Jesse Tibai, one of the beneficiaries of Carabao, has also increased from 10,000 pesos to 62,250 pesos. Indeed, the PCA KEDP is a concrete vehicle in attaining government's trust of farmer empowerment, entrepreneurship, and increased income in coconut growing communities. The dream of Katarungan Small Coconut Farmers Multipurpose Cooperative Incorporated of becoming a major supplier of livestock in the region is now closer to reality. Thus, how grateful they are. Magayon yung kong dakong pasalamat sa Kaani Project, labi na sa PCA, nga ilaming gisangunan, gitagaan, o kaayuhan para sa amuang mga panginabuhian, labi na sa Amo, kami nga mga farmers, dako dyan igog katabang ka na mo, labi na kay kaning karabaw among magamit pagdaro sa among basakan, sa amo ang mga lagot mo, nga mga tanong, magtanong mi sa ilam sa among kalubian. So muna siya nga dako kayo may pasalamat labi na sa Kaanib Project. Nagahang salamat, salamat sa PCA.